Hey everyone, quick biochemistry basics here. Let's talk about confocal microscopy. Confocal microscope was invented because of drawbacks of fluorescence microscope. So, what are the drawbacks of fluorescence microscope? In fluorescence microscopy, it uses a high intensity UV light. As the samples are continuously exposed to high intensity UV light, it causes photo bleaching. As all the fluorescence molecules of sample above and below the focal plane gives fluorescence, the image obtained is blurred. So to solve these problems, a confocal microscope was invented. A confocal microscope is nothing but a modified fluorescence microscope with two major modifications. Number one, it uses a laser light instead of mercury arc lamp as a source of light. And number two, images are taken with a digital camera with a pinhole. What's the function of pinhole? Pinhole allows light of only one focal plane to be focused on the digital camera. The light rays coming from above and below the focal plane are cancelled out. Now let's see the working of the confocal microscope. Number 1. Laser is focused in a small region of the specimen. The fluorescent dye in the specimen gives fluorescence which is captured by the digital camera. Number 2. Using two rotating mirrors in X and Y direction, the laser is now focused in the next region of the specimen. And the fluorescence is captured by the digital camera. Number 3. The laser scans the whole surface of specimen and images of each spot are captured. And finally, number 4, a software combines all these images into a one sharp image. Because the laser scans along the surface of specimen, confocal microscope is also known as confocal laser scanning microscope. The confocal microscope is also used for generation of 3D images. Because the pinhole allows the light from only one focal plane, the images of different focal plane can be taken and compiled into a 3D image using a software.